you for joining me on a Tuesday night. And uh, I live in New York City, so it's actually like 11 p.m. for me, so it's a bit late, but uh, we're gonna have a good time. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a piece by Junior Vance, and uh, Emily mentioned uh, Steve and Elizabeth, and um, first of all, thank you. But also, uh, unfortunately, last time when I was here, I was a replacement for Junior Vance. He was sick, I believe, and uh, then he ended up coming, I think, sometime later. But um, that's how I was introduced to Crested Butte through, directly through Junior Vance. And um, I'm going to play a piece by him called Jubilation.
you. That was entitled Tango La Caprice by Willie Levine Smith. And before that was Erden Berlin's The Best Thing for You. Uh, I'm going to continue now with the piece by James P. Johnson. And this is called Snowy Morning Blues. for jazz piano. And uh, he wrote these in the 80s, essentially uh, as an exercise for pianists of all stripes uh, to practice various styles in jazz piano. Each etude is dedicated to a uh, 
particular musician. Uh, so it starts off with starts off with Scott Joplin and ends with Bill Evans. Um, and uh, what he says, uh, just to uh, preface it, uh, he says the 18 pianists whose stylistic innovations are represented in these etudes have collectively contributed to a body of technique which has become has come to be known as jazz piano. And there are 18 pianists, but only 15 uh, etudes because in one etude, three pianists. All the artistry of each pianist is as, as distinct one from the other as are the respective keyboard manners of Bach, Chopin, and Prokofiev. There are clear cross relationships among them. They share a tradition of rhythmic improvisation, even two as different as Scott Joplin, whose ragtime ought to be considered as, as a sort of pre jazz, and Bill Evans, whose floating and impressionistic approach often departed entirely from the world of dance rhythms. The technical demands of the various ways in which people play jazz pia piano are in certain respects different from what even a well-rounded classical pianist might have encountered. The most important of these is the need for a steady rhythmic pulse. In almost all jazz, the beat is compelling enough to get a normal foot to tapping. Certain worthy exceptions to this rule are not within the scope of the present studies. Each piece is to be played with a steady pulsation, even those such as 18 number one dedicated to Joplin in which the mood is gentle and the manner elegant and rather classical. So very interesting and, and really captures, um, each one captures the essence of um, the artist. So, uh, so this is Azalea Rag dedicated to Scott Joplin. dedicated to Joe Van Morton.
This is dedicated to James P. Johnson. It's called Cut Loose. This is Fat Swaller, Ivy Strap. This one is for three pianists. Uh, it's called Southside Boogie for Jimmy Yancey, Albert Hammonds, and Reed Lux Lewis, three of the greatest boogie woogie stylists.
Ocean Langor. This is for Duke Ellington. This is Errol Garner's etude, Balancing F Map.
It's called Time Plays for the Buddha. <laughs> Zodiac Suite. And I'm going to play that. Um, as I get this passage here. So there are 12 um, signs, Zodiac. And um, she wrote a, she wrote a, uh, a movement, if you will, for each sign. Uh, and each movement is dedicated to few musicians who uh, had their signs. It starts out with Aries, then goes to Taurus, then goes to Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, uh, Libra, Scorpio, and Sag uh, yeah, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, I think Pisces. Pisces, okay. There we go. Um, it's a very fun piece to play. She's she's uh originally she originally recorded this with her trio. Some of the movements were solo, some of the movements were trio. Um, she also premiered this uh, back in nineteen forty six. It wasn't the premiere, but it was it was a, a 
performing at Carnegie Hall with the Carnegie Hall Pop Soul Showcase at the New York Philharmonic uh, and uh, her trio. Uh, and she also performs at Town Hall too with a uh, smaller uh, kind of change of dress ensemble. Anyhow, Zodiac Suite by Mary Lee Wallace.
Thank you very much.